Hello everyone, today we're working on a 1997 F-250 Ford, four-wheel drive, working on the front differential. We've got uh, axle shafts that go out from the differential to each side, and we're working on the passenger side, and there's a, a U-joint that's out on this one, it's towards the center of the vehicle. It's a hard one to get at, and in order to get the shaft out of the differential, you'd have to pull the differential out. There's a C-clip inside of it. Uh, we've got a tool here to make that job go a lot easier. So we're going to show you how to do that without uh, having to pull that differential and make this a whole lot simpler for you. So we'll get started. Okay, we're heading underneath the truck and uh, right here is your, your front differential and uh, we're going to be <clears throat> going to be working right here beside it and this is the the U-joint that's out. You can see the, the free plan and it's like it's lost its needle bearings in there so a lot of free play but that's kind of a tough one because in order to get it out it's kind of tough to see under here need a little better light in order to get this out we've got uh, this shaft right here goes into that differential and the only way to get the c-clip off is to pull that differential away from that front cover so what we're going to do uh, we got the tiger tool number 10105 puller and we're going to do this in place. So I'm going to get everything cleaned up. I'm going to yank out all those clips. I've got four of these clips that hold in the U-joint caps. And uh, we'll get that all cleaned up and get those clips out and then we'll start the process. Okay, a little tip for taking out these clips. Sometimes they're rusted in, especially if you live in a rust belt. You don't really want to break them. They get hard to get out. So what I do is I start just gently tapping on them with a small punch and a ball peen hammer. Eventually to start working loose. The best thing is to throw some penetrating fluid on them too if you got the opportunity. But that really breaks them loose and uh, allows you to get them out a whole lot easier. Just a little tip for you. Sometimes they still break but uh, usually just some light tapping will break them loose enough where you can take a needle nose pliers and get them out. You can see it starting to move there. Okay, we've got a Tiger Tool. It's a small one for the automotive size U-joints. And that'll fit right up in here. And uh, it's got reverse threads on it. It's a number 10105. So this here goes right over the, the ear of the yoke. And then these here arms press on the opposite yoke to push the uh, cap out of the far side. So we're gonna put that on and uh, start hammering those out. And the nice thing about this is it's putting pressure only against the yoke. We're not putting pressure up against any of the shafts or anything like that. So it's all internal on the yokes, the two yokes. Make sure I got it on here. Okay, when you're going back together, you want everything to smooth, just to slide together nice and smooth. So you want to clean up those bores. I use a Dremel tool with a little flap wheel on there. It does a beautiful job. And then when I'm done, I'll take an O-ring pick to get all the crap out of that groove where that uh, snap ring goes in. That snap ring is the only thing you have there preventing that cap from flying out. So you'll make sure that groove is clean. We're going to clean it with the O-ring pick. Now I'm going to hit it with a Dremel tool and a, and a wire wheel to make sure that we got a good spot there for that to nest into and set right so we don't lose the cap. And that does a real nice job, cleans it up nice and smooth. Just makes everything go back together nicely. And then I use a curved O-ring pick. And I go in and make sure that everything is, all that rust and all that crap is out. 
because that stuff can be really built up in there and it'll prevent you from getting that, uh, that ring to seat decent again. And I go all the way around in all four caps and do that same treatment. And when I'm done with this, I take the Dremel with the wire wheel. I got a small wire wheel that goes on there and I finish cleaning it up and I see what it looks like. You keep your fingers out of the way when you're doing this and you get poked. So that gives you some idea how to clean that up so everything's good and clean and ready to go back together. Okay, the final cleaning on these yokes is I use that uh, wire wheel and a die grinder and just go around inside where that snap ring goes. Gets it all nice and clean. I also clean the yolks up so there's no dirt in them that can fall into those U-joint caps when I'm putting it all back together. I take a wire brush and clean all the yolks up so that that's all clean. So it just saves you the hassle of a failed U-joint. Uh, Okay, we've got the U-joint back in, and this Tiger tool was a lifesaver in this one. It saved a whole lot of work in pulling that shaft out of that differential. This Tiger tool, I'm not a rep for them or anything, but I just know that this saved me a lot of time. And these run anywhere from $100 to $150, depending on where you buy them. And Tiger tool makes several sizes. These I got the big ones for uh, for doing the semis. But uh, look into that because if you got one of these to do, it's a huge time saver. The other thing is, uh, the grease that you use in those U-joints is paramount as far as making them last. And what I recommend in them is uh, the Amsoil uh, Synthetic Polymeric Truck and Chassis Grease. And that's what we'll be greasing this truck with. And uh, the fellows that I have using it here in the farm country, we're greasing about half as often as we do with petroleum-based grease and have nowhere near the failures. So the quality of that grease is phenomenal. You can see the physical properties there. It's got a... Uh, four ball weld point of 620 kilograms most of your petroleum based greases are going to be in the three to four hundred range so that's huge uh, it's got a dropping point of higher than 500 degrees so you got a grease here that will help that u-joint last significantly longer and I, I highly recommend the Amsoil grease so I want to thank you for watching this video hopefully it was helpful to you if you have one of these trucks where you have to change one of the u-joints on that particular model so thank you again for watching the video and have a great day Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Donswell. I'd like to introduce you to Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants. We have the most complete line of synthetic lubricants on the market that offer you greatly reduced wear, extended drain intervals, longer equipment life. You can check that out at my website, donswell.com. I also have a website for looking up fluid capacities. It's fluidcapacity.com. You can go there and print off the capacity of your engine oil cooling system transmission, transfer case differentials. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Don Synthetic Lubes. Thank you and have a great day.